Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. This is gonna be a review, not really, of the Hyperlite 2207-1722KV motors on 6S. That's a Pulse 1050 75C 6S battery. The all-up weight of this 4.5 Alien is 682 grams. You could build it lighter. Um, I got some heavy TPU parts on here. Now I've tried 1600 kV motors on 6S, 1950 kV motors on 6S, all different uh, types of props, and I think the 1722 kV is probably the best all around kV for 6S for me. It's, it's, it's got plenty of power, plenty of torque. Uh, it feels great in the air. It's uh, 1950 is just a little. It's a little too much. You can hear the props uh, hitting uh, some of the prop. Depends on what prop you run, but some of them uh, on 6s 1950 kV, you can hear them start to hit their their limit. They start to flatten out, and you're not you're not really making any more power, which is just you're just wasting energy. Then this uh, I don't like the 1250s. I fly with the 1250s. They're they're fine on top mount, on bottom mount. I really don't like freestyle with a 1250 on bottom mount. It feels like I'm dragging this heavy ass thing under me. But on top mount, I can fly the 1250. I get a little more flight time. I don't really feel any more power though. So I've settled on 1050. I'm just gonna buy more 1050s. I'm still flying the same eight 1050 milliamp 6s pulse batteries that I bought uh, back in uh, before Christmas I think it was when they had them on sale still flying all eight of those haven't broke one haven't smashed on anything nothing no damage um, none of the cells drop drastically after I charge it they all drop a little bit then then they may be missing a little bit of punch but they, they all still fly good this battery I just flew is and it's old. I don't know how many cycles. I don't keep track. Probably should. Hyperlite 2207 kV. You really don't need a review of this um, this motor. Uh, you could probably ask somebody on the street, some random person, they've probably flown this motor where they're trying to get it. Can't really find this motor. Got the, uh, this is the Helio Springs Flight Controller. I'll put uh, in the description, I'll put the uh, all my rates and my PIDs that I've got so far. I haven't really tuned it a lot. Um, I hate tuning. If it flies pretty good, then that's good enough for me. And it flies pretty good. I love the blue and the orange. I, I am from Gainesville. I am not a Gators fan, um, but the blue and orange really go nice together. May not like the blue and orange. I like it. It's probably not for everybody. Maybe Surge could uh, come out with a different color scheme. I don't know. I got no uh, purple. I like purple. I don't know. Here's some flight footage. Um, got over three minutes. Three minutes on this battery. Uh, I don't know how many. Full, I hit full throttle a few times. I mean, not a lot of full throttle because it's just in the yard. So, yeah. Great motors. Great motors on 6S. 1722 kV. It's a great all-around KV for 6S, I think. You can run pretty much any prop you want. You don't have to worry about the uh, amp draw. It's all going to be in the 80s. Oh, gave away the end. You'll see at the end that uh, I show the actual amp draw on the time and everything in my goggles. Stay tuned for some new spots. Constantly looking for new spots to fly. There's too many damn people in Florida. If anybody's from Florida or been to Florida, you know this. People are everywhere. You less people. Anyway, that's my review. Take it for whatever you will. I'm no expert. Just know what I like. What works good. So far on 6S, I've been flying 6S for what, four or five months? I don't know. I have not had anything fail. Not a, I haven't had a motor burn up. Nothing. Nothing has died on 6S. No BTX. Run 25 volt uh, 
1,000 UF capacitors. I think I got two on this quad. Yeah, I got two on this quad, but it was for you know, with a different setup that I was trying to add capacitors, and I just left them on there. Love the Helio Springs flight controller. It's got some magic shit going on in there. I don't know what it does. Use that F3 chip to, you know, work some kind of magic on the gyro uh, data and uh, spits it back out to the F4 and it does it really freaking fast as far as I can tell. I thought there would be a little latency, but I haven't noticed anything. Oh, there's currently a debate in the PyroFlip RC Facebook page um, about whether 6S is too much for proximity freestyle flying. And, and I think uh, the people that are saying it's too much are people that have never flown a 6S quad. I, there, there's no difference in flying this or flying uh, one of my other four or five aliens on 6S. <laughs> Thank you, no. Thank you. <laughs> okay, all right, watch how you knock over the camera. Oh, that went right in my mouth. Oh, what happened? Oh, your tongue went right in my mouth. Are you all right? What's the matter? Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Stop, watch it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good God. Anyway, no, <laughs> I noticed no difference flying this. It's just, it, it, it flies smoother, it's got more torque, feels better in the air. And it, the weight's about the same. I mean, a 1300 4S battery, um, most of the 1300 4S batteries weigh about the same as this 1050. So there's, it's not really, there's not really a weight penalty if you use a 1050. And I get just as much or more flight time. So that argument's pretty invalid. Um, yeah, I don't understand where this is coming from. Uh, 6S is, is, everything seems to work better with 6S. Um, I think all the electronics appreciate the uh, higher voltage. I don't know. Thanks, Nala. Say hello to uh, the internet. Say hello. Say hi. What happened? Did I get you? Did the prop get you? Thanks, baby. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough. Watch out. Watch out. I'm trying to shut it off. I'm shutting off the camera. I'm going to push the wrong button.
That was 3 minutes 11 seconds, 21.5 volts, minimum voltage, 82 amps, 768 milliamps on a Pulse 1050 6S75C, and that battery's freaking old.